hit record and we are going to get this underway coaches welcome to the call with joel freeman 10 rounds and you guys being part of an elite team and congratulations to obviously we got becky Brissett, which is part of diesel nation with christina delgado and we have tracy balderach too as well elite coaches with elite teams here to be on this call with joel for 10 rounds i've recorded this we've roughly got about 40 minutes really optimized time for you coaches to hear from joel 10 rounds program to facilitate all the questions your guys is really need your burning heart desire to hear about joel and what's going on two things or four things i want to cover before we start i'm going to drop as of right now a three super important links into the chat for all of you coaches in here it's going to be three important links for three things one is a quiz for 10 rounds the second one is the bnas bna stand for before and afters and number three is the vip group that joel will go over here tonight too as well utilizing for all of your coaches customers whoever wants to join that group that joel has been live three days now going on for another four days too as well FAQ 1010 is your go-to for 10 rounds everything. FAQ 1010 VIP Facebook group going on right now. Number three, new coach incentive. Any coach that sells a challenge pack that's 10 rounds or completion pack will get a promo code and also a 10 rounds towel. Third and last one but not least, get your results through your challenge groups through your people through your customers coaches have them submit before and afters and they will get a 10 rounds t-shirt at the end of the six weeks for this 10 rounds program what i want to do here guys that's all the thing i have to be covered i want to introduce your coaches becky and tracy here to the call tonight too as well and let's get joel's face pulled up here where are you at joel i'm hiding in the back <laughs> what's up what's up everybody so I will turn the time over here now to Becky to be able to facilitate Diesel Nation questions and things she's got here for you for this call. Hey, Joel. What's up, girl? How's it What's going? Up? Well, the first thing I wanted to say was that Miami loves you and the, our event, um, you really put on an amazing event and helped us facilitate that event. And it was, the energy was spectacular and all the love. We, we loved it. We loved it all. That was, that was a uh, that was one hell of a. Uh, I mean, look, we made do with everything, and we and Monica didn't lose her mind. That was good. We kept yeah. her calm, and uh, she did a phenomenal job. So it was great. We loved it. Yes. So um, I listened to the uh, wake up call. So I wanted to remind everybody to go ahead and listen to the wake up call because there a bunch of the questions that I'm getting from my team were addressed on the wake up call. So mm -hmm. about adding gloves. You said that's not no. not, re not required. No, 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 I will find you guys if you wear gloves. Weighted gloves. You can wear. You can wear. Look, you guys who work in boxing gloves, you can wear uh, weightlifting gloves. Uh, some people still have their gloves back in the day from from Les Mills Combat. I don't care about that. It, it was like twelve ounce, 10, 12 ounce gloves. That's not a big deal. But the the weighted gloves, uh, and we'll get more into this later. But like, uh, you guys like, and this is only coaches, by the way. Co like. Regular people, as a regular people, they've never done these programs before. They're not trying to intensify anything. Y'all are the ones that are be like, I can make this better by adding gloves or back <laughs> or what's a hybrid calendar? Where's my hybrid calendar? Like you guys, <laughs> nobody else knows what this stuff is. So um, trust the process. Trust the fact that you know if you don't see it in the program, that probably means it's not a good idea. That's what I usually tell people. It's written, it's designed by you guys, the professionals, for a reason to be followed for a reason. So some of the things that I got, and maybe you could, maybe you were going to talk about it, I'm not sure, but there's two resties. I'm, I'm, people are asking me, but, but does it have to be, can it be yoga? Can it be active recovery? Can we do extra cardio? Can, and I always say it's written as a rest day for a reason. Sure, sure. You guys, rest days are exactly that in itself uh it, it, what it means it just means a rest from the program it means you're not doing a workout from that particular program it was the exact same thing they were rest days which meant you weren't lifting 10 rounds there's two rest days and that means you're not doing anything from the program i highly suggest you stretch 
recover, active recovery, um, you know, and no matter what comes up in the future, anything that has a rest day program wise, that's kind of the way it's going now is unless it's, you know, a yoga workout, uh, <laughs> then it's, you know, rest is a little bit different, but, uh, from anything that's high intensity and things like that, that's what rest means. And, um, you know, Becky, you said that, you know, with the national wake up call, there's a lot of good stuff on that guys. And that is going to cover probably a lot of the basic questions you already have. Um, the, getting started video that's on VOD and program materials with 10 rounds. You've got getting started, you have uh, guides to nutrition, and you have boxing basics. All of those have a lot of the questions you probably are curious about, like and how to move the days around, and can you move the days around, do all those things, that's in the getting started video. So a lot of those basic 101 things are already covered, and uh, what I've been saying on these coach calls is, you know, that's that's, that's kind of on you. As a coach, to be successful, you need to be making sure that you go out and you do a little bit. It does require some homework and yeah. uh, knowing where all these materials are and the assets and stuff. But on this call, definitely for me, I want to be able to uh, do everything I can to make sure that you guys are clear and how to talk to people about this program um, and how to share the results and the before and afters and how to grow your challenge groups uh, with this program. Because that's that is in itself is, is really what's going to be important for you guys at this point. Absolutely. And you must just real quick, I, I, I really want to get to that because that's really what's going to be the meat of this. But someone asked me, why isn't there a stretching at the end? Cool down stretching. So this pro, so let's talk about a couple of things about 10 rounds. So 10 rounds is very unique in a lot of ways uh, and, and, and new and different. And to me, yay that's a great thing like why would we want to create something that is something like another thing you know and and look again you know a lot of these questions come from coaches in terms of like well is it like this was well, it like that well what's it like uh is it like live four is it like quarter force had a baby no it's not um you know a punch is a punch a squat is a squat and that's about it but you know i wanted to create something that was different that felt different that gave you different feels uh, when you were doing it and after it was over and as the weeks go on and then obviously at the same time give you great results and uh, and, and that was the, that was the, really the two main things going into this and in designing 10 rounds was to make sure that people were having a great time they were enjoying their experience uh, and then it works you know and then you're getting a great workout on top of it and then you're sore and you're, you're, you're sweating and you're like man I can't wait to to do it I can't wait to get my ass handed to me again the next day that's basically the the goal of that one um, so that's where, you know, a lot of the things that you're normally used to seeing might be a little bit different or just overall gone. So the, uh, so the cool down, for instance, isn't there. Um, we did that on purpose. It was just because we know that, uh, we can, we can look at each body we can look at when people stop, uh, push stop on their videos on bot and the majority of people actually don't use a cool down like even if it's a two minute thing they tend to just stop and we know that people and there's a difference between cooling down and stretching let's be clear cooling down is simply walking around and letting your heart rate drop and your body temperature decrease like that's it and everything like just to go back to normal that's a cool down so uh two minutes on a video of that isn't going to make a huge difference and from a stretching standpoint of course it's a good idea to stretch that's why i in every single workout video on 10 rounds i throw to it i talk about it um, and we didn't put anything else in there because it was like, we have it already. It's on bot. Like how many workouts and stretching workouts do we already have in programming? So we were like, let's just leave this in its pure form of a boxing conditioning weight training program. Um, and then obviously throw it to the other things as we, as we go. And that's, and that's exactly what we do. Uh, and the, the nice thing about doing this, it kept all the run times under 40 minutes, which we also know people are more susceptible to pushing play when they see that it's under 40 minutes. So think about all the people that you talk to say, I can't, if it's over 40 minutes or 45 minutes, I don't have the time for it. So, you know, time is the number one factor when it comes to these workouts. So we wanted to keep it quick, short, and effective. Um, so that's why we did that. You don't switch sides in this program. That's another thing. That's the big thing that everyone's asking about. Like, well, I'm going to be lopsided. Okay, first of all, <laughs> do y'all really think that we would make a program that makes one leg bigger than the other? Like, come on. You know, you're not going to be walking in circles in this program, I promise. Um, it, is, it is boxing 101, guys, in your stance. Uh, you fight in your dominant stance. You, you shadow box in your dominant stance. And it's the same thing of surfing, uh, skateboarding. Uh, snowboarding, anything where you're in some sort of, uh, you know, one leg forward stance. It's just, that's just how it works. And that helps create familiarity. But if you watch the boxing basics video 
and uh, you listen to what I'm saying also in the workouts, you're not supposed to have one, uh, you're not supposed to have your weight pushed forward on one leg more than the other or vice versa on the back leg. So if you are feeling it more on one leg than the other or one side than the other, then you got to go back and you got to practice your stance. You got to look at boxing basics, but I promise you, um, you, you won't be lopsided if you do it correctly. So those are those little things, just these little things that we really wanted to uh, make and feel different. You know, the, the lefties are finally getting some love in this program because if you're Southpaw, then you're actually mirroring us. We chose to not flip it around. Uh, or, or shoot southpaw style for the majority of traditional stance, just because it was just one more thing to think about. Uh, and you know that's where it comes into my cueing. That's why you hear me talk about this repetition, repetition, repetition over and over and over again. So if we're stepping forward and back and all of a sudden I step, I step this way and you guys step this way, it shouldn't matter because you, listening to what I say, I'm telling you which leg to step with, I'm telling you which way to go. So um, those are those little things that are going to be new and different and, you know, but that's a good thing. Let's get you outside your comfort zone. That's what we've been saying from day one of this program. This program is going to take you outside your comfort zone 100%. I agree with that. I actually, I love that. So I'm ready for that. Um, speaking, oh, I lost my train of thought. Shit. Sorry. Um, your dog is, your dog is pooping. Yeah, I completely, completely lost my train of thought. Um, <laughs> this is why I catch you guys. I had like a really cat. good question <laughs> too. I had a really good question and then poof, it was gone. Well, um, that's oh, what I have. I, you mentioned the homework. Like it's up to us. Just like coaches, when we build our business, it's up to us to be proactive, to do the research. Um, the you mentioned how important it is the form and technique, and that you have the little the promo the breakdown videos. For the form and technique for the punches, I know you've actually told me one time when quarter force that I was punching from my boobs and it was wrong. So how important, <laughs> yeah. So how important is it for <laughs> for us to really listen to what you're saying and watch those homework videos and and is it gonna uh, does it gonna affect our results if you're not uh, doing it correctly? Yeah, I mean, if you're not punching, if you're punching from your boobs, and that, that you know, we always make that as a joke, but ladies, that's usually what you do. when you're when you're going back and forth. Just, I think it's just like a comfort thing. Um, you know, I don't have them, so I gotta, you know, I'm not worried about it. But um, that's what I normally see. That's always my favorite. So you know, you, you know, so you're kind of punching up like this. Yes. Um, but we knew that. I knew that was coming. Like that's the cool thing is like you know, I've been boxing for over a decade, and and I have taught. Uh, you know, taught less. I've taught combat for years. I you know, co-wrote Court of Force. And so I've been in group exercise for years. So I know, <clears throat> excuse me. So what was nice about this is I was able to write this uh, just like Live 4. I wrote Live 4 knowing all the things that people typically do wrong when it comes to weightlifting. And with this one, I was able to write it knowing all the things that people typically do incorrect when it comes to boxing. That's why we talk about the stance. That's why I didn't want to switch stances. Um, I wanted to just make, you know, I, so I wanted to get rid of all that stuff and just go for authenticity. So yeah, if you're not rotating and you're just moving your arms like this and you look like a rock'em sock'em robot, then yeah, you're only you're not going to get the optimal results. So that's why it's important. And, you know, this is also why uh, as coaches, you guys have what that, you know, it's coach exclusive window. You have a three week head start with this program before anybody else. And it's not just to say, hey, congratulations, you're a coach, here's your, here's your free coach exclusive window. It's actually giving you three weeks to practice and three weeks to really get into it and know how to talk to your challengers uh, and your, your, your prospects and everybody just the exact same way I'm talking to you guys right now and know how to spot these problems and know how to go for it because I can't talk to all the people that you can. That's why we I think of it as a reverse funnel. like the, we, the more people we train on this, the more people they talk to and, and keep going. And that's how we spread out Team Beachbody as wide as possible. So it's utilizing these next three weeks to, for your head start, for really learning the form and technique, watching these videos and knowing how to take people uh, and point them to these videos and point them to uh, how to rotate. It's like, okay, wow, you're really feeling your shoulders? Okay, it's probably because you're not rotating enough. You feel more on one leg, that means your balance is off. Um, so that's why we do it. And that's why it's really important to make sure that you guys nail it the first three weeks. Awesome. That's such a good point. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to pass it over to Tracy. I don't want to take up all the time and that way you can get to what you need to say. So it's Kyle. For sure. Awesome. Hey, thanks Becky. Tracy, do you want to turn the time over to you? Yes. Thank you. It's like the first time I've washed my hair since I did the sample. I could not lift 
my head's or my hands above my head. So yeah, thanks for that. Uh, dry shampoo is I've heard is really good. Oh, I use it all the time. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so you guys have covered a lot, but I do have two things, and one is we got a lot of pregnant people on our team. Cool. So let's talk a little bit about any modifications that you would recommend for all the trimesters of pregnancy. Sure, I have a feeling too. Like in the next nine months, we're gonna have a lot more pregnant people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think we're gonna see like a really big baby boom. <laughs> the perennials, I've heard. Yeah, 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 God help us all. Um, so I think that, um, look, it, it's, it's actually really simple. I think um, in terms of uh, pregnancies, postpartum, um, anything from the hair down in terms of limitations, um, you know, it comes down to the point where it's, you know, you, can you do this program? Yes, 100%, but it's always gonna be the same answer. Doctor's consent, um, make sure that you're cleared to exercise, and then know what your limitations are, especially in pregnancy, as you progress. So you should know at a certain point when you can't lie down flat on your back, right? You need to know these things. Like that's the stuff that, um, I mean, I know I can't get pregnant, but if, you know, if Brianne ever did, we have an issue. But, um, because I have a vasectomy, so if she got pregnant, that'd be a really weird thing. So, but, you know, I would, we, we, we'd do the homework, right? We would find out these things. And that's why I always tell people, it's like, you need to understand that, like, this program, you know, all of our programs are, unless it's a pregnancy program, but, the, you know, these programs like Tenraz is designed specific, just in general. It's for general population. So if there's anything specific, you get your doctor's consent to exercise, and then you know how to modify it. So knees, backs, shoulders. Yeah, you can do it. You just have to know what if and what you need to modify as you go. Um, but we had, uh, Becky, you were there in Miami. We had a woman that I swore to God, like she was due that day, wasn't she? Oh my God. I was, I told her, I was like, if you go into labor while this is happening, I don't even know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have like PTSD off of it. Uh, <laughs> she didn't, but man, she was about to pop and she did great. So it was, so I, I'm gonna say, yeah, you can do as long as you're clear for it. I mean, you get so sweaty, you would have never known if her water broke. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> you never would have known. I would have. Um, I, yeah, yeah, maybe she was trying to get it out. I don't know. Like jump up and down. Okay. A lot of things help. Um, all right. So the other thing is obviously those of us who've been coaching for a while or those who've done our homework know about your history with your group fitness and a lot of like what you've done in terms of, you know, core to force and some of the other kickboxing type stuff. Talk to us a little bit about what you did to prepare specifically for boxing so that when we're talking to people about 10 rounds, um, we have a better understanding of what it was that you went through to particularly get ready to launch this program. It actually was really simple because I already box. Um, I've been boxing now for over a decade. I mean, when, you know, it was actually more challenging to do core to force because I had to go in to do some things that I don't normally do, which was uh, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Um, you know, I had done a little bit of Muay Thai, not a whole lot. Um, so I had to, you know, so market research, I had to go in and, and really dive into some of these disciplines that I had never, I wasn't familiar with and, and learned a lot. It was great about, you know, body movement and things, but, um, this was simple from a standpoint of, this is what I do on a weekly basis. I weightlift and I box. And if you guys follow me, you've seen that. I go to the boxing gym usually uh, a couple times a week. I've got a boxing trainer. She and my current one, she's a former uh, boxing champ from Ireland. So she beats the crap out of us all the time and we love it. And um, so from a preparation standpoint, I didn't have to do anything out of the ordinary. And I think that's why this program is so it is so smooth. Like it just, I really feel like when you're watching it and when you're doing it, I feel like it comes, you know, I watched, I've watched the first week of it now. I haven't seen all, you know, I haven't seen all the weeks yet either, but I've, you know, I've watched the first week now that it's out and I'm like, okay, cool. We look like we're having fun and everyone looks good. And that was really important. So all of my cast, they're all boxers. Um, they either teach boxing and Deja, you know, she was in morning meltdown, but she, she's a boxer and she's already, she's even had an amateur fight. So um, it was very important to make sure we had the authenticity behind me uh, from, from the cast standpoint. And then just, it's just so smooth and fluid, like the conditioning, the, uh, the numbers, the combos, the way I wrote it all. This is what you do in a boxing gym. Like, and that's what's really cool is once you go through this program, if you go and you want to hit mitts with a trainer, you guys already know how. 
Like this is how, like that's the number system. This is how we do it. So, um, you know, when you're talking to people, this is something to really emphasize the fact that this is authentic. This is not a boxing inspired program. Like inspired to me, like Court of Forest was an MMA inspired program. We took a lot of moves from in world of MMA, but you know, a roundhouse in Court of Forest is not a real roundhouse kick. We had to modify it uh, for a lot of reasons, for safety reasons. And like, I still can't do a real Taekwondo roundhouse. It's ridiculous. So, um, you know, our, our home workout was different. This, you can take almost everything in this program and it goes into the boxing gym. And I think that's what's really cool about it um, from the boxing standpoint, the way we do the drills, the way we do the footwork, and you're gonna get more into the footwork as you go out throughout you know, every week in the program. Uh, but the number system, the, the way we move, the way we turn, the way we slip, the way we roll, um, the conditioning elements, the conditioning agility, that's all based on ladder drills, you guys. It's just using, a, it's just ladder drills without actually having the ladder. So it's, it's, it's about as authentic as I could possibly make it. Um, without actually hitting anything. So I'm, I'm damn proud of that. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's fun and it's fluid. And I think people are feeling that as well. You should be, it's been fun. Thank you. We're good. I don't have anything else. Perfect. Okay. Covered. Well, Joel, a lot of people doing six weeks of the works, doing a lot of other programs, coming to 10 rounds, they're sore. I'm sore. Everybody's sore. Our legs are sore from yesterday. Our upper body, things like that. Nutrition wise to get results, but also recover wise, what are you walking through these co coaches here tonight that can be able to really take away to their challenge groups, to those that are going to be sore, like most of us are? Yeah, yeah, most people are sore right now, right? Um, uh, yeah, especially like you get to do the lower body legs, and then today you get to do more squats and lunges. You're welcome. Um, but the, so, from a nutritional standpoint, you know, it's, it's, this is something I've been preaching forever. And those who follow me know this, it's all about consistency. And that's what I preach all day long, every day. And that's how I live my life. Becky knows it because we've gone out, we've partied, we, you know, and we bookend it, you know, like eat good here, eat good here, not so much right here in the middle. So that's, and that's kind of how it works. But what's really cool and where we are right now in Beachbody world in this history is the fact that we now have established two, we have two established fitness uh, excuse me, nutritional foundations. And this is and nutritional platforms. And we've never had this before. Two established nutritional platforms, uh, Ultimate Portion Fix and 2B Mindset. Back in the day when we were doing DVDs, we always were like having to come up with some cool nutrition thing with it. And, you know, there was, we felt like there was always, it had, there always had to be something. Now it's just consistency in your nutrition platform, whatever one you're following, ultimate portion fix or 2B mindset. And then you just have to adjust your brackets as you go, your calorie brackets, that's really it. So it's the first time we've ever had that and I love that, I love that because now that makes it so much easier to talk about nutrition when somebody's trying to go into a new fitness program. It doesn't have to be, well, if you do this fitness program, you have to do this plan. If you do this program, you have to do this plan. And you have to do it. I mean, like, that's just way too much. And when it's so much like that, that's when people quit because it's too complicated. But if you simply say, hey, look, no matter what, you're going to be on 2B Mindset or Ultimate Portion Fix. You want to be on Ultimate Portion Fix? Great. No matter what, this is what you're going to be on. Okay, now let's talk about your fitness goals and what do you want to do? What do you like to do? You want to do bar? Great. Here's your calorie bracket that you follow for bar blend. You want to do the work? Great. Here's like, That is so flipping easy. It is a no-brainer. So I love that we have that. Um, ultimate portion fix is, uh, you know, in, I was just talking to Autumn this morning because, um, I, you know, I'm still learning certain things too. So it's considered moder moderately intense or i think that's what the uh the way it is how it's said so because i'm like what do you mean moderately intense you know it's like 10 rounds is not moderate it's it's super intense and so then she explained it to me i'm like okay now i get it so uh but yeah it's moderately uh moderately active i think is what it's called so um anyway that is important to have that is you figure out what nutrition plan do you want to follow for your team or what your team wants to follow? And then you just put them into the right calorie bracket. So just make sure you moderate challenging. Thank you, Myra. It's moderately challenging. I knew it was something like that. So that's what you do. Um, and then from the, so there you go. So there you go. Nutrition set, you're, and you're, you're going to develop consistency. And that's where people are going to really see some amazing results, right? Uh, from the nutritional standpoint, uh, from the supplementation standpoint, excuse me, uh, Shakeology should already be happening. That should be already actually in your nutritionals, no matter what. And then Beachbody performance products 
I think recover is a no-brainer. Like my two no-brainers are recover and recharge. That's what I have every single day. Um, me personally, I have it every single day. It obviously depends on what you're following, uh, but you got to have it, man. <laughs> so it's not just, um, you know, yes, recover has the, uh, the raspberry ketones that helps with uh, the raspberry ketones and cranberry extract. I always get those two mixed up between that and recharge, but I think it's raspberry ketones that help reduce delayed onset muscle soreness, but, and that's all great, but you guys, it's the protein. That's what is really helping reduce muscle soreness because it's protein that goes into your muscles. It helps your muscles recover. So it's not so much all the other stuff. It's just protein. Like protein is the building block. Um, that's what's important. Anything else, obviously in terms of supplementation, that's up to you. It's what you want to do. And for some people it's up what they can afford. Uh, but I think recover is a no brainer recharge it. They could do it. Um, you get your BCAs in the recover as well. Um, and then obviously with energize, some people can't live without it. I drink, you know, I drink coffee in the morning. So I work out usually right after my coffee. So I'm pretty awake for that. But if I had to work out in the evening, I definitely would uh, be doing recharge creatine and uh, hydrate hydrate isn't as necessary because the workouts are under 40 minutes and usually uh, hydrate is made for a longer duration exercising over 45 minutes to an hour um, so it's not necessary creatine uh, me personally I think it's safe for everybody uh, it otherwise we wouldn't have it if it wasn't safe for everybody it just goes down to what your specific goals are and what meal plan you're following and all these things so make sure you just do your research and, and understand what every what you're because it all go it all comes together right if you don't piece it together or you don't do this and you don't do that like if you're following ultimate portion fix then look at the recommendations for it if you're following to be mindset look at the recommendations for it so make sure you really understand it i have one more thing kyle yeah no problem go okay so joel i'm sure i speak for a ton of people on this call that lift four was like just such a soulmate program for so many, okay? So one of the questions that we're getting is when you look at um, the results that people were getting in lift four versus what some of the people who've already finished 10 rounds, do you see a difference? Is it the same? Talk to us a little bit about the difference you see in those two programs. Um, it's, well, it's definitely a little bit different. Um, you know, lift four, lift four was a passion. It was very much a passion project. It's something that I wanted to do for a long time. I wanted to create something that was going to be, um, it was, it was tackling the number one barrier to everybody's workout regimen, which is, I don't have time to do it. That was, that was it. So that was a chance to really go after that and simply say, look, you know what you say on time, four days a week, half hour. It's like two and a half hours a week. Yeah, you do have time. So and um, you know, it was a bit of a challenge to put something together that would get people some pretty stellar results only working out four days a week. I mean, that's, we're talking, in my opinion, that's, you know, four days is about bare minimum as you can get. And, you know, we worked really hard uh, to make sure that it did work and it does, but you gotta be a little bit more uh, regimented in your nutrition because you're only doing four days a week. So you gotta be really careful with that. But when we go into five, and having some higher intensity workouts like these boxing workouts are, the results are going to be a little bit different. And you are going to, uh, in my opinion, and it's based on the BNAs, which we'll show in a second, you are going to get some, you know, because lift four was eight weeks, this is six weeks. So we got to, if we're shortening the duration of the program, we got to up the intensity, right, to get the results. So you can't really compare them because it is a little apples to oranges. That was that was weightlifting. It was more progressive, hypertrophy training. This is very much um, in my mind with this program. This is tackling the two things that I always get uh, messages on, which is how do I lose weight and how do I tone up. That's what I hear all the time. People want to lose weight and they want to tone up. I'm like, cool. So basically, what you're telling me uh, is you want to burn fat and build muscle. Cool. That's what this program is all about. Um, and, you, and people want to do it fast and they want to see results fast. So that's really where, you know, that came from. And that's why boxing is so popular because of the intensity, um, you know, without getting into the, the formula for, of the program. And I promise you there is like, you know, we don't just throw this together thinking that it works. Like I spent six months on this design to make sure that even within every single round of these boxing workouts um, that it is, you know, that you're punching as many times on one side and the other, but it's, it's more about keeping your heart rate up 
uh, in a specific zone in, in what's called steady state cardio. And you're doing that in this program. So yeah, you hit your highs. You don't hit the lows like you do in, in maybe high intensity interval training because you don't stop in this program. That's why people are just torching calories right now because you're just moving the entire time. Even a boxing bout is 45 seconds. You're keeping your heart rate at least in a medium zone. And then when you hit those top points, then you're really going calorie burn. So long, long answer to your question. Um, people want to lose weight, tone up. This is the program for them. And uh, I think we can, I think we've proven it. So with that said, Kyle, if you would please share your screen and show people that, 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 Hang on one second. Got it. It's coming. There, Boom. there it is. Uh, so as I'm talking, Kyle's going to scroll on you guys. Look at these results and look at the midsections. Um, people are always talking about the midsection. That's their problem area. Um, legs, arms, everything. So this is why boxing is so popular and this act you know the active rotation the rotational movement look at that side profile that's insane um everything about it like his beard even looks better and then jeff turned into a superhero that guy is just jacked um and uh all these guys there's karen that's postpartum by the way she was uh eight months postpartum i think coming into this program eight ish months uh, and that was six weeks. You guys, these are not asterisks. These are not so-and-so did. Um, look at Keyshawn. Look at our girl Keyshawn. She was always super. Now she's super woman. Um, she, everyone did six weeks. This was not two, double rounds. This was not anything else. Six weeks using either ultimate portion fix or uh, to be mindset. But yeah, look at her midsection, you guys. Like this is just, it's, it's insane. So six weeks, uh, it is in a, wow. I always forget about that one. Damn. That's incredible. So these are all, by the way, on, in your back office. And these are the things that you, this right here is, I love it. I love that this guy, leave on for a second. I love this guy because Ryan is the first guy I've ever seen who got totally shredded. And in his after, he didn't shave his chest and like oil himself up. So I totally appreciate that about him. And I think it makes it look even better. I really do. Because I don't know if you've seen the BNAs, like usually they're all hairy and big. And then, you know, in the befores and then the afters, like they totally shave their chest and they get a tan and get oiled up. So I love that. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so these are all, I mean, these people just look different, like different people. And it's some of the, uh, it's some of the most impressive before and afters. I mean, that guy looks completely different. He just looks like a completely different person. Uh, looks like a younger brother at that point. So this is definitely something that I knew, uh, I knew was going to work. Um, but, you know, until you start testing it, and uh, in its entirety, I mean, you know, to get this, get these types of results in six weeks, I think it is some of the most impressive uh, before and afters we've ever seen, we've ever had. I think, uh, you know, you, def you guys definitely have um, seriously some of the best BNAs ever for a launch. Like those are, these are just ridiculous. Okay, well, we're coming to a wrap here before the end of this call. Anything else from you, Tracy or Becky? Okay, awesome. Well, my last question to you, Joel, here for the utilization that we've ended these calls the last couple of nights here is, what would be your challenge to these coaches here on this call for the tools that they have resourced right here now here tonight to take away to implement this program? Sure. I mean, obviously they've seen the BNAs to go and get those for themselves, but also to the coaches and, and customers that they're, they're, they're looking for. Yeah, for sure, man. I think that, look, I think the challenge is, is uh, actually what we talked about right here at the beginning of this call, you guys, it, and, and what Becky was saying as well is you got to do your homework, man. You got three weeks. You have a three week head start. This is something that um, has never been done like this before. Um, you, you get coach exclusive windows, but usually you get like a week of the program and then it disappears, right? That's, that's kind of been the traditional thing. Now, you guys just have it. Like it's there. We're not, it's not going anywhere. And on Friday, you're going to get week two. I mean, you're going to get a new week every single week to go into this. So you legit have a three week head start um, to go after this and learn everything you can. And so that's my challenge to you is simply saying like, look, everybody's always asking, uh, you know, I see on the business side of it, people are always asking, you know, for the assets, for, for these things. You're asking for all these different things to help your business. I can't think of anything else at this point. Like we put so much effort into it. You know, we 
we filmed all around the country and and we did a lot to make this uh, such a cool experience, a visual experience in the program itself. Um, you know, it was just amazing. Uh, everything came together so well, and I think it's been a testament to the program. And and it's just it shows that it's the right time to do it and the right time for this to come out. But my challenge to you is spend these next three weeks and really getting everything you can. Get into the Facebook group with me. I'm you know going live every morning at 10 a.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, to just talk about stuff. I'm going to go back in there tomorrow. I think tomorrow I'm going to go live in, in my little uh, home gym and just kind of go over some basics. I know it's, it's, you know it's already in the boxing basics, but we'll talk a little bit more in depth about some of the boxing basics. So if you have some questions on stance, you should tune in tomorrow at that one. It's always recorded. It'll be there in the group. But just utilize this stuff, guys. It's, um, we're in a very weird time right now. It's not any, you know, no one, no one predicted this. No one saw it coming. Thank God we wrapped a week before it happened. Like we legit wrapped on a Saturday and then, you know, shit hit the fan like on Tuesday. <laughs> it was like, wow, okay, that worked out. Um, and, you know, Carl said on the national wake up call, and we all, I think we all agree with this is we don't want to, um, by any means, we're not trying to, we don't want to take advantage of the situation. We don't want to capitalize on the situation, but we want to show, but let's be honest, this is a very good opportunity for you guys to show what is available. And it's not trying to tell people, hey, and, and I saw this post, like, so you know, we know that some people are out there like, hey, I'm trying to keep my immunities up and you should too. You should drink your Shakeology. That's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to show people that we've been saying this is the total solution. We've been saying Beachbody is the total solution for years. Uh, Beachbody On Demand has been here for years. And now all of a sudden, I've never seen so many Instagram lives in my entire life of, of, you know, I follow a lot of other fitness people and they're all offering programming up and live. And I'm sitting back, I'm like, oh, that's cute. We've been doing this for years. So now's the time to really show people that this is the total solution, that we have it. And uh, that's my challenge is to, is to send, you know, spend the next few weeks leading into April 6th, showing that, that Beachbody, Team Beachbody, we bleed blue and we have the total solution. And I think uh, that this is, this is the way to go and, and let's use this opportunity and let's make April 6th the biggest launch ever. I know we're gonna do it. I know you guys are gonna do it. I'm, I'm rooting for it. I'm cheering in the background. I wrote the program, guys. Now I, I'm, I'm passing the torch to you. All right, guys, coaches, the torch has been passed. Mic drop from Joel here tonight for 10 <laughs> rounds. Thank you, Joel. Thank you, Elite yeah. Coaches. Thanks you for all you coaches being on here tonight. Enjoy your night. Have a good night. I'll get this recording out to your teams so you guys can review this. Thanks, Joel. That's it. Thank you, Philly. I love my T-shirt. Got to represent. So appreciate it.